What time is it? I got a haircut appointment. It's noon. You got to drive me, Corey. You spend all day there, and your hair stays the same. At my shop, family comes first. And... Hey, what do we got there? We got a teaching toy. OK, that is definitely cool. You know what this is? <laughs> I was able to assemble it out of a sack of parts and pieces that I got at a rummage sale. We've been using it as a teaching tool, and it's always king of the party. Mechanical energy. You fill this with water, you get it hot. The water boils, turns into steam, goes through this tube, do, 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 underneath. Can we light one of these up? We can light her up. Go give me some hot water. The Industrial Revolution would have never happened. Cool water in there. If you put hot water in there, it starts up a little quicker. Fire this up. What is that you're lighting? Basically, a sugar cube. Done. <laughs> there you go. See, chum? That's how a steam engine works. It's going fast. Yeah, you turn it off? Do it. Oh, it stops instantly. Almost, yeah. When do you think this was made? 20s would be blue. The older ones have like a cast iron base and things like that. Got it. And I know it was made in the last 20 years because. Consider 100 then. You like it, chum? Yo, man's making me drive him to the barber shop like I'm his personal chauffeur or something. So how long have you been coming here? 30 years. Oh, hey, guys, how's it going? Hey, guys, right. how are you? How's it going? All right, hurry up. Get your haircut done. All right, just cool it, Corey. Take a little where I would expect the old man to be getting his hair cut. Place is kind of cool, Grandpa. I'm surprised that you actually come here. Oh, shut up, Corey. Most younger than Richard, but, you know. It's kind of weird to see the old man being social. You know, I've never really. OK. Got a family heirloom. Let's check that out. It's a coonsite. A coonsite. <laughs> <laughs> I come to see the guys at the pawn shop quite often. They can retail the stuff. I can't. I'm going to get 15 grand out of Rick. I mean, it's got to happen. I'd rather sunlight, so it's jewelry you're supposed to wear in the evening. They're really rare. More money to take. Um, I'm going to have Jeff, my gemologist, check it out. Well, you don't trust me? You don't think it's real? What's up, man? Davey says this is Kunzite. Well, that'd be cool. Let's do so what I can see in here. Our inclusions that tell me that this is natural. And from that, we can tell if this is a natural kunzite or if it's something else. And as I can see through here, dollars a carrot. Okay, how many carrots is away? Thanks, Jeff. 30 to $50 a carrot gives us a retail value of somewhere between nine. I'll give you five grand. I mean, just plain and simple, it's going to sit for a long time. Man, meet in the middle, 7,500. I'll give you six grand. 7,500. Six grand. 65? I like doing business with Rick and Corey. He says he gets a haircut, but he's really in here hanging out all day, right? <laughs> oh, shut up, Corey. <laughs> Corey don't understand a good classic haircut. I'm not that old, so I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first car. I, I've been looking for years. They're very rare. Isn't that the one you stole from your uncle and crashed in the lake? See <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of guys my age know him. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Carpal amputation saw. This would cut off fingers during the Civil War. Studying these things for years, and this is something that stumped me when I came across it. That's not a piece of bone, is it? What? I couldn't set a comminuted fracture. And unfortunately, the doctor on the field would have to amputate. OK, so this must have strictly been on the Civil War battlefield, and you got shot in the hand, and a doctor came up to you with this nasty saw? It was going to be a real bad day. Oh, or I'd go get him. I I'd hate for you to pass on this. Do you have anybody that you think we could call to? <laughs> <laughs> I did get arrested in San Francisco because I flew back from Vietnam and some idiot came. It's a 54 Ford custom line. Okay. We painted it, flaked out the top, interior. It's all original, you know, original, original engine. Cool car, man. You ever think about, you know, the, the old man was the one wasting time somewhere.
barber shop all day. But it's all good. I mean, I did manage to look at some cool cars while I was waiting. Really? It's time for us to go to work. Uh, you wasted half my day, Grandpa. At least you don't look like a shaggy dog anymore. <laughs> Developed by a capation surgery was such a, a noted part of Civil War medicine. A Civil War amputation saw is a real collective thing, Mark. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I do not think this is a Civil War surgeon. So, and one of the things they also did is you truth, I think what you have here is a child saw from a child's tool set <gasps> saw, but it was a wood saw, probably turn of the century. At that point in time, even play tools were just like adult tools. And parents today are a bunch of pansies. Well, I'll let you give me 10 bucks and I'll take it off your hands. I pay you 10. In law, the gift certificate would probably be a better gift. <laughs> thanks right, for coming thanks in. A lot. See you next time. Same here. Sucks that this wasn't from the Civil War. But at least I were like, it's nothing. And the old man's hair looks exactly the same. What's going on? Cheers. Hey, old man. It's actually like a pretty fun, cool place. What? I go to a barber shop. It's good, don't it, Rick? 